Hey gang, Bison here. It's that time again. Uh, everybody has ask, been asking me to do an updated video of my 72 hour pack. Here it is. Oh, that's Jimmy. That is his first official appearance in a video. Usually it's Edgar. Anyway, uh, looking at the pack, I've upgraded from the 511 Rush 72. I found that with everything in it, it, it really didn't work out for me. Uh, it really hurt on the shoulders. It had a very poor waist belt, and it really didn't. It hurt after a long time. This pack that I'm filming here is the Eberly Stock Half Track, and attached to it is the Tactical Tailor Removable Operators Pack up top here. And there's a bunch of other goodies attached to her. We will uh, dive into that. This is going to be a, a big one here. Um, now, before I get started, just please listen to me carefully. Um, nine times out of ten, when I talk about something, um, you know, most of the most of the questions I get, I've, I've mentioned in the video. So please watch the entire video and, and pay attention. Um, and usually, a lot of the videos, people always ask me where I got something. I usually put in the description box in the bottom Amazon price. Nine times out of ten, if I don't find it on Amazon, I get it from eBay or order from the factory directly, the company that is, whoever makes whatever the item may be. Um, and the other thing is, before we get started, all these bags, whether it be a bug out bag or, or, or a get home bag, these, the, the, bag, the items in these bags are, are custom to what I think I would need and what I would like to have. I'm not telling you you have to have the same stuff. You may not want to have all the same stuff. So before you, you uh, criticize and comment negatively about things I don't need or it's too big or it's too heavy. Now, believe it or not, this thing looks like a monster. But my original pack was just, uh, just about 60 pounds, the 511 Rush 72. Even when I refined it, just the way it was, it was cut and made with the shoulder straps, it was extremely uncomfortable. Now I'm in fairly good shape. You know, I'm a big guy. I'm just about 5'12". I weigh 210. I'm not a fat, so I get stupid comments, you know, telling me that I'm whatever. Anyway, neither here nor there. Um, this pack, I got it down to just about 44 pounds. Um, everything is distributed beautifully on this pack. So let's, uh, let's dive into it. Um, oh, and one more item. If you do see me going over some stuff here and you think it's redundant, again, keep in mind, if you're out there for long term, because if we have to bug out for some reason, we don't know where we're going or how long it's going to be and what you're really going to need. You know, and having a backup of this or that, a fire, fire starting item, a knife, a saw, hatchet, etc. Something fails, something breaks, you have a backup. And, and don't forget, you know, along the way, you know, you're going to meet up with somebody that may need help. Or you might be traveling with somebody and you have some extra stuff for that person. And if there's something you need you don't have and you meet somebody along the way that has it, if you have something extra, you can trade for that item and stick together. You know, um, I, you know, I'm really concerned a little bit about security. That's why I always don't show my face, you know, and uh, I don't want to be one of those famous YouTubers where everybody knows me like a nothing fancy or a James Jaeger or something. But... That's why I got extra stuff. You know, it's about helping people out and sticking together. Okay, rent over. Let's dive into this bad boy. Um, on the back here, let me just move up a little bit. Let me unclip the Tactical Tailor Removable Operators Pack, and we'll dive into that first. It unclips on either side. It comes with uh, the attachments on the side. When you purchase it from Tactical Tailor, this pack by itself was about 89 bucks. The Eberly stock was a little over 250, maybe 264, 269. I don't know. So she comes off, and that's what the Eberly stock looks like without the Tactical Tailor uh, attached. So let's move this. It's just supporting it with a CD binder. Okay, taking a look at the Tactical Tailor pack, 
as you can see I've added on either side some Coyote Brown Grimlocks. I also have on the side of this my Becker. Now this isn't the stock sheath that it came with obviously because it's multicam. Um, I keep the original sheath in the main compartment with the survival kit attached to it. We'll show you. I, I did a review on that in a previous video. I keep the original sheath with me so God forbid I gotta lose everything. I'll grab the knife with the original sheath that has a mini first aid kit and survival kit in it so I still would have something. So moving along, BK7, power cord, and I wrap the handle with some of that flexible, self-adhering camouflage wrap. This is great for knife handles, camouflaging your rifle, and bandages. And this case I found on Amazon, 20 some odd dollars, I believe Condor makes it. Comes with the Molly webbing, and it's multicam, obviously. It was about 20 something bucks and it fits this knife perfectly. I did have to do a little do a little surgery up here because this portion wouldn't fit in. So I just cut that out with my Dremel and she is good to go. On the outside of this pouch, I just keep in there a magnesium fire starter. Okay? And if I just wanted to take this separately, there are shoulder straps in here that fold in the back. And then you have this as a separate backpack. It is hydration compatible. Or you can stick an antenna through there for a radio. So looking at the outside. Got a pair of firm grip multicam gloves. Got those at the Home Depot, obviously. Firm grip. Pair of old school wool fingerless military gloves. A Blackhawk balaclava. Uh, a knit cap. Found that at the local um, Army Navy store. Ear warmer head wrap. And then out here, I also keep the Emberlit folding stove that I did a review on. Very lightweight, very compact. Good backup stove to have, not just for cooking, but if you want to make a small concealed fire in your shelter we don't want to draw attention great item to have so that in one of James Yeager's videos he did a bug out scenario cool stuff uh, multicam boonie that's it for that compartment in here I've got a zero degree thermalite sleeping bag liner this goes with what I'm going to show you in my main compartment Another backup pair of these are Mechanics Wear Woodland Camel gloves. I actually saw the guys, a couple guys wearing these on the uh, movie in the movie Lone Survivor. I thought they were really cool, so I picked up a pair. Can't have, have too many gloves. This is a like a camp pillow. Stuff it with your spare clothing or leaves or something. Just a little comfort item. Emergency bivy. This is an old school Woodland Camel military poncho. Also has grommets when you open her up. Could be used as a form of shelter or a ground cloth for your tent. This is my hygiene kit. All the items in here are the same that I've gone through in my previous videos. Don't need to rip through that, but it's got everything you need. Shaving, soap, etc. Deodorant. Here I have the Fremont knives. Packable, emergency, you can use it as a knife, as a hatchet, etc. Um, I choose to carry this because it's thin, it's lightweight, instead of having a whole axe with me. I mean, if you really got to cut wood and stuff, I do have the BK7 for batoning. Um, got 100 feet of OD parachute cord. It's amazing what you can get these little things. These are uh, Night Eyes. Tarp clips that I found at Home Depot. Clip your tarp grommet here. This folds back. You can run your parachute cord or any line through there and, and adjust it there and to pull it tight. So I've got four, obviously one for each corner, depending on what I want to do. Also keep in here a Gerber folding saw. You know, again, so there's the redundancy we've seen so far. We've got the saw, we've got the packable hatchet, and then we've got the BK7. 
Also have one of those You Dig It folding shovels. Again, you know, if I have to cut something, uh, you know, dig a hole, you can also use your knife to dig a hole. Do I need a shovel? Maybe, maybe not, but, you know, if you're in the woods and, and you want to, you know, I would just probably use it for uh, seeking water if it's underground or just burying my own waste because you want to hide that, you want to start diseases. And then uh, another redundancy item here is the chainsaw. I mean, again, you know, uh, lose the knife, I have a backup. That saw breaks, I have a backup. I'm with somebody and weather is coming in, we have to get a shelter up quick. We have two people working with a couple items to get it done. So there's the reasons behind that. Okay, so that is that pack. Let me put her back together and we'll move on to the big boy.